having this ID number JSE1. The title of his speech is Mental Health Caregiving. Mental health is the level of psychological well-being or absence of mental illness. A mental illness is a physical illness of brain that causes disturbance in thinking, behavior, energy or emotion. If the stress of caregiving is left unchecked, it can take a lot on your health, relationship and state of mind. Impact of caregiving on caregiver, mental and emotional health, higher level of stress, NXT, depression and other mental health effects are common along family members who care for an older relative or friend. By showing individual respect, acceptance, remove a significant barrier to successfully coping with their illness. Caregiving not only impacts the physical and mental health, but also generate financial stress. Social support may have buffering effect on caregiver burden. One study found that social support was negatively associated with caregiver's burden. That is, caregiver who obtained more social support reported less burden, strong relationship between availability of support system and caregiver distress have reported instrumental emotional and informational support are most commonly cited functional dimension of social support system they found that instrumental and emotional support were in effective in reducing caregiver burden the demand of caregiving can be exhausting and overwhelm. But there are steps you can take to run in stress and regain. Senses of balance, joy and hope in your life. Thank you. Good morning respected judges. My ID number is JSE2. Today I am here to represent my speech on the topic mental health and caregiving. So let's start our speech. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel and act. It also helps us to determine how we handle our own stresses, relate to others and make our own choices. Mental health is very crucial at every stage of our life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. Mental health is very influential for the enlargement of the society as well as for the country. As an instance, we can say that our Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi ji has launched Swachh Bharat Abhiyan in which he signifies that we should spread cleanity towards our environment because if cleanity is there then our mental health will be definitely strong, which is important. But only mental health is not important. A person should also keep his physical health. There is an old saying that a healthy mind always resides in a healthy body. A person is not called healthy if he lacks its physical, social or mental well-being. Yes. Swami Vivekananda Anandji, while addressing the young generation of his country, had already said that our new youth should first become be strong. My new young friends, be strong. This is my advice to you. You will get closer to heaven by playing football than practicing the Gita. When your wrist and arms are become strong, you will be more able to understand the Gita more thoroughly. As a good mind is always the main factor of a happy person. So we must ensure its proper maintenance. At last, I want to conclude my speech by saying that your mental health is very important then the test, the interview, the meeting, the family dinner and etc. that all happens in your whole life. 
So it is very must to take care of yourself because your self care is very must necessity. That's all. Thank you. Good morning, respected judges. My ID number is JSE3. I would like to deliver a short speech on the topic mental health and caregiving. The topic sounds short, but it is profoundly significant at every stage of human life, from childhood to adulthood and from adulthood to parenthood. Life is a journey and it is not immune to difficulties and stresses. At every stage of life, there are certain changes, certain challenges and certain developments. In order to cope up with these new developments and challenges, mental health and caregiving are two inseparable components for our psychological, emotional and social well-being. So now let me tell you what is mental health and caregiving. In the simplest sense, mental health refers to the state of mind where mental illness is absent and the mind functions at the satisfactory level. Caregiving refers to the physical and mental activities of the mind, which protects us from different worries and depression. Depression is a deadly virus which kills our joy, enthusiasm and our social interaction and relationship. So now let me tell you why mental health is important. As you know, we live in a world which is more competitive and advanced in every aspect. Health and hygiene are at a risk. Acceptations and rejections are practiced everywhere. Fear of known and unknown are inevitable. Such a time as these, every person should stay mentally healthy because mental health gives us inner strength and courage to overcome with our own stresses and depression. Good mental health affects our thinking, feelings and acting. And it also enables us to move ahead. So therefore, caregiving to mental health is very important. We need to replace our negative thoughts with our positive thinking and our doubts with faith. So let us not derail our focus, rather be strong and courageous in our heart and mind and make difference in our lives as well as in others' life. Thank you. A very cheerful morning to one and all present here. This is Shansu Party of Class 7B and today I am going to deliver our speech on the topic mental health and caregiving. Mental illness affect 19% of adult population, 46% of teenagers and 16% of children each year. A person struggling with their mental uh, mental health may live in your family or live next door. Teach your children to walk in the next cubicle or uh, uh, sit in the same church pew. However, only half of those affected receive treatment because of the stigma attached to the mental illness. Untreated mental illness can later contribute to higher medical expenses, bad, bad work in uh, uh, school and job, fewer employment opportunities and a high risk of suicide. What exactly mental illness is? A mental illness is a physical illness of brain which make it difficult to, to cope with the ordinary demands of life. Research is starting to uncover the complicated causes of these diseases which can include uh, genetics, brain structure, brain chemistry, experiencing trauma or having another mental uh, another uh, health, health conditions like uh, like heart diseases thank you greetings to all today i'm here to deliver a speech on mental health and caregiving mental health includes our emotional psychological and social well-being it affects that how we think feel and act mental health is very important at every stages of life. Physical fitness is not only measure of good health alone. The two main factors that affect the most are feelings of inferiority and insecurity. These should be avoided and children should be constantly encouraged to believe in themselves. Six steps are there we can take to improve our mental health every day are first value yourself second take care of our body third surround ourselves with good people fourth give ourselves fifth get help when we need it and sixth quiet our mind first value ourselves 
treat ourselves with kindness, respect, and avoid self-criticism. Make a time for our hobbies. Do a daily crossword puzzle. Plant a garden or take a dance lessons. Second, take care of our body. Eat nutritious meal and do exercise and get enough sleep, which helps decrease depression, anxiety, and improve mood. Third, surround ourselves with good people like supportive family and friends. Fourth, give ourselves volunteer our time and energy to help someone else. Thus, it will give the feelings of well-being. Fifth, get help when we need it. People who get appropriate care can recover from mental illness, addiction and lead full rewarding life. Sixth, quiet our mind. Relaxation exercise and prayer can improve our state of mind and outlook on life. Thus, we must not consider mental illness as a taboo and give it the attention it deserves to save people's lives. Thank you. Mental health needs a great deal of attention. It's the final taboo and it needs to be faced and dealt with. Well said by Adam Ann. Hello spectators. My contestant ID is JSE7. Today, we are going to talk about a serious issue which is the most neglected part of our country. Yes, it's mental health. Before talking why mental health is important, we should know what is mental health. It is the state of well-being where the person knows his or her own abilities and can perform productively in almost every field of his life. Emotional and mental health is a vital part of our life because it controls our behaviors, feelings and emotions for different people. When there are physical and environmental changes, mental disorder is likely to happen. Now the question arises, how do we become the victim of mental disorder? Human is a social animal and it is the responsibility of human to have a social interaction with the community and with the society. But when we withdraw ourselves from the society, when there is long lasting fear, when we have anxiety in ourselves, then we become the victim of mental disorder. And as we came across about the terrible news about Sushant Singh Rajput, which is somewhere related to this issue, with this we can state that mental health has an impact on our both professional and personal life. Now, how can we prevent mental disorder? There are a lot of ways and I would like to share a few. We should value ourselves. We should appreciate ourselves for every good deed we do because the world is not going to do it for us. We should surround us with good people. And the most important, we should ask for help when we need it. Now, there are a lot of people who have started their own NGOs to help people overcome mental disorder. For example, the Minds Foundation, the Manas, the Live, Love, Love Foundation and a lot. Now, I would like to take your leave with a beautiful quote said by Loti Dashain. You don't have to be positive all the time. It's okay if you feel sad, angry, anxious, scared or frustrated. Having feelings doesn't make you a negative person. It makes you a human. Thank you. Mental health is not a destination. It's a process. It's about how you drive, not where you are going. Said by Norm Spencer. From the quote itself, you might have understood what I am going to talk about. Yes, it's mental health problems and how we can overcome them. Warm greetings to one and all. My contestant ID is JSE8. I am here to present a speech on mental health and caregiving. Demi Lovato said, You don't have to struggle in silence. You can be unsilent. You can live well with a mental health condition as long as you open up to somebody about it. Nowadays, there is high level of competition in every field. Everyone is trying to give their best which increases the level of stress and pressure. Everyone starts thinking if they fail, how they will confront their family and society. This fear of failure may lead to mental illness and depression and may even lead to physical illness. So talking about depression, 
Depression's meaning varies from person to person because it is a psychological term and really complex to understand. It is really dangerous phase to deal with. A person sitting quietly may seem sad. Maybe he or she is having trouble to deal with such a situation. But that doesn't mean that person is depressed or having such mental health issues. While a person laughing out loud on a meme can be suffering from such psychological problems and may be searching for ways, different ways to cope with it. There is no medicine which can completely cure mental illness, but love and care are very potent medicines. The person suffering from such mental problems should be given proper counseling sessions. We should try to indulge them in some work which will distract their mind and make them feel good. We should help them to connect with other peoples, talk with other peoples. Self-caring is giving the world best of you instead of what's left with you, said by Kathy Reed. Thank you for being such wonderful audience. Good morning, respected chairpersons and judges. Today, I am here to deliver a speech on the topic mental health and caregiving. When wealth is lost, nothing is lost. But when health is lost, everything is lost. According to World Health Organization, mental health is a state of well-being in which the individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully and is able to make a contribution to its community. A healthy mind resides in a healthy body. In general, people misunderstand health with physical fitness only. A person is not healthy if he lacks any of his well-being, be it physical or mental. According to studies, 4% of world population is suffering from some sort of mental disorders and 60% of the suicides have the common reason that is depression. In today's world, everyone is busy with their own lives. Modernization has surpassed the fact that one's mental health is also to be taken care of. It has been said by a great philosopher, health is well. Helping someone is something that gives immense happiness or a feeling of self-satisfaction. Today's modern society is changing at an extremely fast rate and competition level is increasing. There is so much pressure that mental stress is pretty common nowadays. To deal with such thing, a person needs someone with whom he or she can share their feelings. Caregivers help us improve our psychological and mental health. We must keep our daily lifestyle a healthy one. Self-entertainment is a preventive measure to avoid mental illness. Also, meditation and yoga is a common means to have a person's mind relaxed. Learning about mental health allows us to provide helpful support to those affected in your families and communities, showing individual respect and care removes the barrier between them and helps them cope up with their illness. At last, but not the least, I want to say that having people see you as a individuals and not as your illness can make huge difference for someone who is struggling with their own mental health. Thank you. To all teachers and my dear friends, today I am going to tell one speech about mental health. After delivered that speech about mental health, we firstly know about this three point of mental health. The points are what is mental health, why it is important in our life, and how we know exactly about mental health. So basically, mental health means balanced equation between as well as individual personality and emotional attitudes him to live peaceful or calmly and harmoniously with this society and also with the fellow men so we can say simply 
This is called mental health. Mental health is integral and internal part of health. Due to some leak or the absence of mental illness, it is directly or indirectly or personally an individual affect the mental health. Mental health will be and preventions of mental disorder, treatment and rehabilitation of people affected by mental health. Mental health effect, how we think, feel and act. It affects how we handle circumstances and situations. Mental health is important at every stage of life from childhood and adolescence through adulthood and how we know exactly about mental health of human being. Mental awareness is the key to know about mental health condition of human being. Firstly, we go to one person to another person. Then after we talk to them and we conclude what is the mental illness of human being. It is called mental awareness. Each mental health condition its own sign and symptom. Example of some sign and symptoms. Feeling sad or down, confused thinking or reduced ability to concentrate. Thank you very much. Mental health is the level of psychology well-being or an absence of mental illness. It is the state of someone who is functioning at a satisfactory level of emotions and behavioral adjustment. Mental health and stability is very important factor in a person's everyday life. The human brains develop many skills at an early age including social skills, behavioral skills and one's way of thinking. Learning how to interact with others and how to focus on certain subjects are essential lessons to learn at young age. This starts from the time we can talk all the way to when we are so old that we can barely walk. However, there are people in society who have difficulties with these skills and behave differently. A mental illness consists of a wide range of conditions that affects a person's mood, thinking and behavior. Many people with symptoms of depression don't describe themselves, while others may have a hard time admitting they feel depression and more common than you might think. And it's a normal response to a difficult situation. It is not unusual for caregivers to develop mild or more serious depression as a result of the constant demands they face while providing care. Thank you. Yes, I am positive that you will get through. I know it hurts when you are blue. But when you will learn what you can do, there just will be no one for stopping you. Hello and good morning to respected jury members and everyone who are listening. My ID number is JSE12 and I study in class 7. I feel extremely delighted for being a part of MJ Fest 2020. I am here to share my views and opinions about our given topic, mental health and caregiving. Health is considered to be a person's physical and mental condition. A person requires both physical and mental health to survive in this world. Mental health includes social, emotional and psychological well-being. It affects how we think, feel and act. According to the World Health Organization, near 450 million of people are suffering from mental illness. This is really a big issue, but also there are many good and kind people in this world who are trying to deal with this problem, and we call them caregivers. Obviously, caregiving is a social work. These caregivers were like angels to the people who are suffering from such problems. A study found that a typical mental health caregiver provides 32 hours of care per week and gets 9 years of caregiving journey. Clearly, these caregivers gave their life to contribute and to help the people who are suffering from such problems. Caregivers are vital partners in the recovery journey of the loved ones who are living their life with mental illness. To ensure them a good quality of life, these caregivers provide them social, emotional and psychological support. Mental health is an important part in the development of our country. Our government and many caregivers are trying to deal with this problem. But we should also have to do something to contribute and to help the people who are suffering from such issues. If we will organize events in different different places and make people aware about mental illness and depression like problems, then we can gain mental health back to our nation as well as to the whole world. 
Many people don't take appropriate actions to take care of themselves. And some people who want to take care of themselves don't have the right resources and correct information. And as I said, that if we will organize events, then these people will get aware. Finally, I want to pause my words with few lines. The dark days, the unmovable days. The dark days which feels like forever. The days where happiness isn't something that you can remember. Know this, these days will pass someday. These days will pass, however long it takes. Give yourself kindness, give yourself grace. Give yourself kindness, give yourself grace. Thank you and have a nice day. A very warm and cheerful good morning to respected jury members and judges. Today my fate is decided that I should speak upon mental health and caregiving. First of all, life doesn't give you all the gifts you are hoping for. But the greatest gift is life itself. A mentally healthy person will do his or her work very finely. Whereas an unhealthy person will take a lot more time than that. If you give the finest food to an unhealthy person, it will be the same as poison for that person. I want to ask a question. Where do we live? Of course, we live in our home planet, the perfect planet Earth, in our homes. But our body is where our mind resides. Our body is the temple for our mind. You have to keep it healthy, clean, with safety, so that our mental health can stand perfect. Likewise, sound needs a medium to travel because sound cannot travel in space because, because space doesn't have a medium. Sound needs a medium to travel. That's how our mental health also needs a medium for care. Caregiving is what it actually needs. Mental health is what we have to understand a bit more depth. A bit more depth. Because this mental health is what controls our whole body. For our jobs to finish with great satisfaction, we have to satisfy our mental health first. That is our first priority. I would like to say that our life is given us once only. We have to take care of this life. We have to enjoy every moment so that we don't regret afterwards. Take care of this health, whether it is mental health or body health. Thank you. Your mental health is priority. Your happiness is essential. Your self care is necessary. With this word, a very good morning to all the judges today. I'm standing in front of you to talk about mental health and care. So, what does this mental health mean to us? Mental health is a level of psychological well-being or an absence of mental illness. It is the state of someone who is functioning at a satisfactory level of emotional and behavioral adjustment. It can also help determine how we handle our stress, relate to others, and make choices. This is important at every stage of our life, from childhood and adolescence to adulthood. There is no single cause for this. It can be caused by the mixture of biological, psychological, or environmental factors. People who have a family history of mental health may be more prone to be developing one and something. Changes in brain chemistry from substance abuse or changing mental diet also can cause mental disorder. Just as physical fitness helps us to stay strong like that, mental fitness helps us to achieve and sustain a good mental health. When we are mentally healthy, we enjoy our life and environment and the people in it. We can be more creative, try learn new things and try take risks. Nurturing our mental health also help combat or prevent the mental health problems that are sometimes associated with chronic physical illness. The current corona pandemic situation has made matters worse. People as well as students are experiencing greater anxiety, stress, fear, isolation due to restriction and fear. But for this, giving care is the only thing to which it can be cured. With care, our mental happiness has to be found from within. In 
ancient India developed a unique motto of life that is Atmanam Vidhi, which means know thyself. When the ultimate goal of life is fixed on self-realization, we can afford to ignore adverse peripheral and turn every stone from obstacle to a stepping stone, and hence our mental health will be within our grasp. Thank you and have a nice day. And greetings to all. Starting with the famous words, health is wealth. These famous words define that our health is very valuable for us. Health has been the most important part of every living organism's life. Health can be categorized into two types: mental health and physical health. We all are very well familiar with our physical health. Mental health is a word that is related to our mind. If we focus on the word mental health, most of us think that the person who is mentally unfit talks about foolish things. But this is not true. Doctors have observed that the most of the people who are mentally unfit talk logically, but they are sad and depressed. To minimize good mental health means not having any psychological disorder and mental illness. But the person should not be sad and depressed. He or she should always be motivated. We both mental health and physical health are equally important for us. But we are only focusing on our physical health. As our physical health is responsible for doing our day-to-day -day work and it describes how much our body is fit and fine. Similarly, our mental health describes it, that how much is our capability of taking decisions in life, and it encourages us to take decisions in life. Life cannot be happy and enjoying all the time. There are difficult, sad, and good situations too. A person with a good mental health can overcome difficult situations of life very easily. Most of the people who are suffering from serious mental health illness doesn't think that it is essential to take advice of mental health specialists. As a result, day by day, deaths of people due to mental health illness is increasing. A famous case of death due to mental health illness and depression has been recently occurred in our country. Though. Uh, caring, as the word says, caring or protecting someone. The importance of caregiving has been increased due to the current situation of COVID-19. In the current time, we should care ourselves and with the people who are living in our surrounding. Parents should care their children well to make them successful in life. Parents should also care their children regularly when they are when they are facing depression and sadness. Then. The COVID-19 is related to our physical health, but we should not focus, forget about our mental health, as it can encourage us to overcome this tough time. After speaking about mental health illness and caregiving, I would like to share three points on how to care a mentally unfit person. The caregiver should have a good communication skill. The caregiver should not talk about negative things while talking with a mentally unfit person. The mentally unfit person should read some motivational quotes time to time. To get encouraged, the mentally unfit person should do his favorite activity to be relaxed. The mentally unfit person should practice yoga, and the caregiver should check whether he or she is doing that regularly or not. In this speech, I have spoken about mental health illness related to our moods and emotions, but there is also a kind of mental health illness related to our brain. In, but in both of the cases, we can help people by supporting them, and with our proper support, they can overcome their problem. Both mental health and caregiving are part of our daily life. We should always be positive and think positive, as a healthy mind stays in a healthy body. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe during this tough time. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ashu Singh. I study in class six. My school name is M J Public School, Shanti Nagar, Delhi. My ID is J S E one six. Today I am here to give speech in English, and my topic is mental health and caregiving. So first, what is mental health? Mental health is the level of psychological well-being or an absence of mental illness. It's a state of psychological and emotional well-being where an individual is able to use their emotional capabilities, meet the ordinary demand and functions in the society. Second, what is imp importance of mental health? Mental health is important to help in the development the development of desirable personality. Helps in proper social de development helps in proper athletic development helps in seeking proper adjustments helps in progress of the society now what is what are the causes of mental illness first cause drug or alcohol misuse possession by abusive spirits genetic or familial reason brain disease traumatic events or shocks thank you all everyone my id is jse18 today i am going to perform a speech about mental health 
as everyone knows what is health health is a well being of a person that is being free from illness in the earlier days it was considered that health involves only the fitness and the physical state of the body but it has now been proven that being physically fit is only one of the two faces of the coin named health the other face is being mental health mental health is just a psychological state of one's mind being mentally fit is an extremely important part of living a healthy life a person who has a good mental health has improved ability of thinking fast and taking right decisions at the time of need the aspect of mental health was not so given important in the earlier times as most of the work was done physically but nowadays people have broken their links with the society investing most of their time in networking and mentally isolating them in the process hence spending some time with your loved ones and doing something which one likes can be the best thing which promote mental health 10th october which is celebrated as mental health day to raise awareness about mental health is also a great step to promote mental health and to ensure that people are mentally fit and the world becomes a better place thank you a very pleasant good morning to all of you respected father teachers and all my dear friends today i am going to give a speech on my topic mental health and caregiving mental health is a foundation for individual well being and the effective functioning of a community health is important for our country world health organization defines health as a state of physical mental social and spiritual well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity the mental health of a person impacts his or her feelings education and way of handling a situation parents feed their children with nutritious food and always take care of them however most of them fail to notice the decline in mental health of their child the reason behind it is they do not give it that much importance it is due to the lack of awareness among people half of all mental illness show early signs before a person turns 14 years old and 3/4 of mental illness begin before age 24 The signs of mental health issues are changes in mood, lack of interest in socializing, inability to tell the difference between reality and fantasy. We must maintain our mental health by being positive and by meditating regularly. The caregivers of these mental health patients can ensure to give them a good quality of life, provide emotional and social support to them. To maintain mental health we should do all these things value yourself with kindness and respect take care of your body surround yourself with good people learn how to treat with stress set some goals in your life do something you enjoy challenge yourself spend time with family and friends thank you and have a nice day greetings all as we all are aware that this world is going through a very bad phase due to this pandemic situation we are bound to stay at our homes continuous exposure to the screens of mobiles tvs and laptops for studies purposes job purposes and entertainment is not giving desirable effect instead it's causing adverse effects on human brain according to doctors continuous use of screens damage brain cells and cause negative effects on person's physical and mental health addiction to screen can result in sleeplessness saturation and lack of concentration after long working hours on screen people are feeling lonely because they are unable to meet their family and friends in the present scenario we need to overcome this problem and now a lonely brain is home to negativity and stress but at the same time a lonely brain is in need of creativity it's up to you what you choose everybody experiences stress from time to time stress is a natural part of life it may be positive when you throw a danger or meet a deadline but when a person is in its negative effects it can undermine his or her physical and mental health
become very harmful. A relatively new branch of psychology has been discovered. The pleasure activities or hobbies which bring fun to life can be wonderful for enjoyment and relaxation of the moment. Maybe a cycling, gardening, uh, doing yoga and exercise or music or art. Another important thing that I would like to remind is that yoga was originated in India as yoga. It is a wonderful stress buster medicine. A Western science is also using it as a caring and healing therapy. Once we understand that yoga therapy is a single package for all mental, spiritual and physical progress, almost all problems will be solved. It is a fact in India that more than 90% of patients with chronic mental illness live with their families. So the families are considered as the key resource for patients' treatment. Clinicians and healthcare administrators also advise that an adequate family support is needed for the patient's treatment. In conclusion, I would like to say that spending time with the loved ones, doing yoga and exercise, having a hobby will lead all of us to a healthier life. Thank you. Namaste and good morning to everyone. Today I feel proud to be here and participate in MGM Cultural Fest. My ID for this competition is JSE25. So now I'm going to deliver a short speech on the topic mental health and caregiving. So the first and foremost topic is the importance of mental health awareness. Mental illness affects 19% of the adult population, 46% of teenagers and 13% of children per year. Now what exactly is a mental illness? Mental illness is a physical illness of the brain that causes disturbances in thinking, behavior, energy or emotions that makes a person difficult to cope up with the surrounding. Research has started to uncover the complicated disease of this disease which can include genetics, brain structure, brain chemistry, experiencing trauma or having another disease like heart disease. Mainly there are two types of mental illness. Illness. First one is anxiety disorders. Second one is mood disorders. Now, now the last but not the least topic is what actually can you do to help out? Point number one, value the people. Point number two, surround themselves with good people. Number three, point number three, break up their monotony. Point number four, take care of their body. With this note, I end up my speech here. Thank you so much. Hope you all like my speech. Hello everyone, I'm JSE26. Today I'm going to tell a speech based on mental health and caregiving. Mental health is a state of well-being in which the individual realizes his or her own ability can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, and is able to make a contribution to his or her own community. Mental health is a major concern worldwide. If we evaluate development in the field of mental health, the pace appears to be slow. Dr. Brock Kisolam, the first Director General of the World Health Organization, WHO, in 1954, had precisely declared that without mental health, there can be no true physical health. About 14% of the global burden of disease is attributed to neuropsychiatric disorders. There remain considerable issues of priority setting based on the burden of mental problems and of addressing inequalities in relation to determinants and solutions for health problems. There have been numerous calls for invoking political will for enhancing advocacy and for galvanizing community participations, all which can improvement in outcomes. Thus, it becomes now opportune to explore the paradigm of mental health awareness as a means of combating stigma, enhancing prevention, ensuring early recognition, and also stimulating simple and practical inventions within the community. Today, there are opportunities in terms of mental disorder as key targets of global health action as well as of leveraging new technologies particularly internet, big data, and cell phones in amplifying simple field invention found successful in primary care and other excellence. Caregiver A caregiver is a paid or unpaid member of a 
person's social network who help them with activities of daily living. Since they have no specific professional training, they are often described as informal caregivers. Typical duties of a caregiver might include taking care of someone who has a chronic illness or disease, managing medication, or talking to doctors and nurses on someone's behalf, helping to bath or dress someone who is frail or disabled, or talking, taking care of household chores, meals, or processes, both formal and informal documentation related to health for someone who cannot do these things alone. Thank you. A very warm and cheerful good morning to all. It's an honor and privilege for me to be here today. I am contestant number JSE27. Today I am going to represent a speech on the thoughtful topic, Mental Health and Caregivers. So, my dear audience, do you know what exactly is a mental illness? I explain. A mental illness is a physical illness of brain that causes disturbance in thinking, behavior, emotions, or energy. That makes it difficult to cooperate with the ordinary demands of life. The researchers found that the two common mental health conditions are first, anxiety disorder, and second, mood disorder. Now, here is a fact that approximately 44 million adults of America experience serious mental health issues and half of them seek treatment. Now we have got some little knowledge about this. So now I want you to know that no matters how deep you are from, no matters what you are in life, no matters how bleak your situation, the thing that matters is you are alive. Is you are alive. This is not the end. This is not a final chapter of your life. This is not the end of your story. I know it may be difficult right now, but it will be the hardest if you just hang in over there. It will be the hardest if you just hang in over there. Stick it out. Share it with your family members and your relatives or whom do you press more. You will find that this tough moment will pass. This tough moment will pass. But if you just take it as a burden in your mind, it will make you feel that you don't want to live your life. But you don't know how precious your life is. So my friends, be happy and smiley. Thank you. Greetings from Katasan number JSC28 and my topic is mental health and caregiving. What is mental health? Mental health includes our emotional, psychological and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel and act. It also helps to determine how we handle stress related to others and make choices. Mental health is important at every stage of life from childhood through adulthood. Over the course of your life, if you experience mental health problems, your thinking mood and behavior could be affected. The World Health Organization defining mental health states that it is a condition of well-being in which a person realizes his or her abilities can cope with the normal stress of life, work beneficially and fruitfully. It has been said before that there is no single official definition of mental health. Cultural differences, subjective assessments and competitive professionals theory are all influence. How mental health is defined? There are various types of mental health disorders, some of which are common such as depression and some that are not common such as signophilia and bipolar disorders. And caregivers. Caregivers are a critical national health care resource. Families often are a primary source of home care and support for elder relatives contributing services that would cost hundreds of billions of dollars annually. If they had to be purchased from being primary caregivers to teaching and assisting family members to provide care, similarly, social workers now play a critical role in providing advice and support to caregivers. Evidence on the health effects of caregiving gathered over the last two decades has convenience policy markers that caregiving is a public major health issue.
Caregiving is the care provided by professionals or family members to a person who is ill or is suffering from a disability. Many a times one feels glad and rewarded one being able to care for our loved ones or someone caregivers our daughters, wives, husbands, son and other relatives and they, have, they may even be professionals who are paid for the work they do. It is essential that to fulfill all other roles in life they keep themselves mentally and physically fit. They should make time for themselves to distress themselves by yoga, meditation and pursue their hobbies whenever possible. Mental health of the caregiver is essential for ultimate results in care provided. Thank you. My warm greetings to the members of jury, principal sir, teachers and all my fellow mates. My ID number is JSC29. Today I will be expressing my views on mental health and caregiving. What do you mean by mental health and how it affects you? Mental health is the psychological well-being or an absence of mental illness. It is the state of someone who is behaving at a satisfactory level of emotional and behavioral adjustment. According to the World Health Organization, mental health includes autonomy, competence, perceived self-efficacy, integrational dependence and subjective well-being of one's intellectual and emotional potential among others. But do you know that there are a number of mental disorders also called psychiatric disorders that can affect your mental health? Some common types of mental disorders are schizophrenia, anxiety disorder, clinical depression and bipolar disorder. The symptoms of these diseases may include anxiety, fear or impairment of personal functioning. According to the research reports on mental disorders, it was found that there are over 450 million people who are affected with it, placing the mental illnesses among the leading causes of ill health and disability worldwide. But we can overcome these mental disorders by caregiving. Caregiving refers to the range of tasks related with nurturing and looking after. But who can be a caregiver? A caregiver can be any individual such as a physician, a nurse, a social worker or a member in your family who is working for the prevention and treatment of an illness. Caregiving is a complex healthcare activity. From an informal family level activity, it is now becoming a major part of healthcare in all the countries. COVID-19 and the pandemic has brought about a sense of fear and anxiety worldwide, which have led to an increase in the number of people who are affected with mental diseases. That is why it is important to learn more and more about mental health because the better the world will know about it, the more we can work for the people who are affected with. At last, I would like to thank you for hearing me and I hope you all have a very cheerful day. Good morning to the respected jury, panel members and everyone. During this pandemic, we all are focusing about our health, which we should. We all should take care of ourselves and our loved ones. But aren't we forgetting about our mental health? Peace. Physical injury is visible, but what about those injuries which are not visible, which are not hurt by a rock or an object, but by emotions, mental illness and illness which is not cured by medicines, but by care and love. Let me tell you a fact so this whole thing become more meaningful. Suicide was the most common cause of death in 2016. Every year about 800,000 people dies by suicide and of those 17% or 135,000 people are resident of India. A nation with 17.5% of world population. Now I hope you can see what I'm trying to see here. Mental illness affects 19% of the adult, 46% of the teenagers and 13% of the children. People suffering from mental illness could be anyone, your best friend, guy sitting next to you or the clown of the class. However, only half of them receive treatment. 
mental illness also causes suicide suicide is the third cause for the death of a student a person suffering from mental illness goes through many things they break their hope they now no longer have any power to get up from their bed in the morning they feel extreme guilt feel confused every time having suicidal thinkings there are many things that causes mental illness it could be because of a stressful life use of alcohol a childhood history of abuse and maybe sometimes the emotions let's make it simple this is not the only reason it is also because of us you i and everyone living in this society we need to change our mindset and should try to accept everyone like what they are not only student but old citizens we forget about them but should we we forget about the transgenders they also expect for respect but do we give them that they feel alone and then suffer from mental illness but we can prevent this by caring them not only physically but also emotionally by listening to them by talking to them we can prevent this there is sure no way of preventing this but we can look after our mental health right we can have mental wellness by having a proper diet asking for help not being shy and taking a break doing something you're good at communicating and the most important thing believing in yourself after all a man with mental illness can do anything unlikely the one with not then let's take a pledge a pledge to look after our loved ones and our mental health during this pandemic and make them feel safe be kind always this was my time thank you for your patience here mental health and caregiving we can divide this sentence into two meaningful parts mental health at the beginning and caregiving at the end Mental health refers to a psychological, emotional, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps us to determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make our choices. Mental health is important at every stage of our life, from childhood to through adolescence and old age. In today's busy world, high work loads excessive amount of work and unrealistic deadlines are making people feel under pressured and overwhelmed this makes people that feel that their skills are being overused this affects their mental health causing stress as we all know in the past women were not allowed to step out of their homes for doing work they were made to stay at home to look after their children and their maternal parents but nowadays more and more women are stepping out of their homes to earn their livelihoods to provide their children with a better future so that this children could study and grow into a good person in future but excessive workloads and pressures affect their mental health and stress due to which they are not able to spend time with their children this causes stress not only in the parents mind but also in the children's mind this affects in the thinking of the child or the old also that are present in the family slowly they start feeling that they are not taken care of they face the lone feeling with no one to take care of they feel that no one is there present at the home with whom they could share their feelings in children this fact gets settled while they grow up when they are as adults they also have a feeling that they face the same situation when they were children so their child can also face a situation but parents work for the betterment of their child then also they have to get some spare time to good morning everyone my name is roshni chetri and i am from class 7 today i am going to tell about the mental health and caregiving from our childhood we always heard that health is wealth as we all know that we are going through a pandemic that is affecting our mental health in this situation children are affected immensely because they have just started to absorb and learn things in nowadays the studies are conducted through online classes which somehow help the student to get connected 
with the institution and to make them happy. Even though the online classes are conducted, it is not that efficient as would be going school because the children feel a mind gap and cannot connect with friends and teachers directly. And now I am going to tell that what is the mental health actually. Mental health involves our emotional, psychological and social well-being. Mental health is important in every stage of life. From childhood and adolescence through adulthood. Like physical health, mental health is also very important. Like in our classroom, conduct our ability to organize it. We can take care of our mental health in COVID-19 by keep in touch with our friends, families, social media, telephone, etc. And by remember that this is the period of self-isolation and quarantine is temporary and follow exact advice to help content virus and if anyone is disturbed or could not take their decisions so we should help them and make them happy in their life and we should also tell them that be happy in your life thank you and have a nice day